So tell us, how, how, how do you recommend setting up a red team operation? Well, there's a lot of different ways that you can, can set it up. Um, I do recommend that you have uh, some sort of project manager over it. It can be very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, I like when we, we do this kind of red team or even a pen test project, we, we work in pairs. Right. You know, having sort of a lone ranger just out there, him or herself, that can be tough. You might miss something. Even mm -hmm. just sort of brainstorming with somebody, just yeah. saying, hey, here's what I'm seeing. Have you seen something like this? So, so if there's enough resources, I'll put two people mm -hmm. on the project. Yeah, you know, two people are, are always better than one, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and if there's not enough resources, what I might do is say I've, I've got enough to put uh, for this project, I got maybe 80 hours over two weeks, right? So that's, that's one person, two weeks. What I might do is have one work, person work on it for 70 hours mm -hmm. and another for 10. And then they're just kind of bouncing ideas off each other over those 10 hours. In fact, that's the role that I often play with, with some of the folks on my team. Mm -hmm. I'll deploy a guy who's out there on site doing the project day to day. He calls me and we spend an hour or two a day on the phone talking about what he's seeing, brainstorming about what he should try next. Makes, makes for a better project. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you've got the resources, I, I really right. recommend you do two people. Okay. And then, you know, some recommendations is sort of a bare minimum for a standard pen test. Not even all the fancy red team stuff we're talking about, but just a, a, a bare bones pen test. I recommend at least a day for reconnaissance. You need to understand what the organization is about. Well, right? and, and the real bad guys are going to have Months. Days, yeah. weeks, or yeah, months, exactly. right? Yeah, so. exactly. So if, if, if we're trying to mimic what the real bad guy's doing and, and you're just thrown into this organization, it's, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. um, I like to have at least a day for my scanning phase because I'm, I'm mapping the attack surface. But if it's a big environment, it might take longer mm -hmm. to, to do that. Mm -hmm. But this is kind of the bare bones. I'd like to have at least two days of actually outright trying to hack my way in, right? Mm -hmm. Battling, maybe, maybe this involves uh, spear phishing emails, maybe it involves right. web exploitation. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of different things that could be included here. And then, you know, everybody's favorite topic, report writing. Um, <laughs> you gotta allocate time for that. One of the tricks that I've found that, that helps with report writing is don't wait until the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so what I try to do is when I'm, I'm working on a, a pen test is every day to write a page or two of my report. Mm -hmm. So if the test itself maybe lasts over five or eight days, something like that, I'm writing a couple pages every day so that I get at the end, I've got you know the basic workings of my report. I found not only does that make life worth living, right? It's not so mm -hmm. painful, right. but I, I get actual better results. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know if you guys have ever been working on a report after the technical part of the project's done, and you notice something in your analysis on the report, Oh man! If only if I had I tried had, this. Right, right. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely and, true. And you can't. The, that technical part's done. You can't try that. Yeah. So what, you got to write in your report. Hey, next time you do this, try that. You mm -hmm. know. Um, but if you're working on the report while you're doing it, you have that opportunity. Right. Yeah. So. I found that writing documentation is is actually inspires the thinking process. So I think that's yeah. basically what you're alluding yeah. to there. This For me, it's always been if I don't write while I'm doing it, I'll go back to my notes. I'll be like. What the heck did that mean? Yeah. What was I trying to say here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. You know, one of the things that we've done, and, and perhaps this doesn't really fit, well, it might fit into a, a red teaming environment, particularly if you have a large team or have a number of folks working on it, is we've set up a collaboration environment for the analysts yeah. so that um, it allows more ad hoc type things. And, you know, one of my big things, and this, again, getting off on a wild tangent here, but it gets that, those collaborations out of email, yeah. which is perhaps right. the least secure way to sure, communicate it's forever about things. And so, yeah, it's, exactly. It goes in all kinds yeah. of systems and things. So chat. There's nothing like good old fashioned yeah, chat, right? Old fashioned uh, chat. With obviously a strongly encrypted session. Yeah. The one, right. the one, the one issue with chat is it is somewhat volatile. That is, you tend right. to lose the history of it in there. But right. so, I guess back to your point, document as you go along so that you, you get a good handle on what types of things uh, are going along and use it as a part of your Thought process. Yeah, so collaboration, documentation, right. those will they'll make you better at doing this stuff. It mm -hmm. also makes it more fun to do, honestly. Yeah, I, I know the report writing, it doesn't sound like it'll make it more fun, but spreading that report out over time as mm -hmm. opposed to writing it all at the end, that actually makes it more fun. Yeah.